Hello, my name is Akiade Adetunji. I'm the founder of Caesar Graphics and Caesar Graphics Academy. I've been in the design business now for 17 years. In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you how to improve visual design skills. I'm going to be sharing five most known tips that will help you as a designer. So let's start. As a designer, okay, uh, visual design skill is very important because we are visual communicators. So I'm going to be sharing five tips that you must know as a designer to improve your visual design skill. Now, the first thing you need to know as a designer is you need to first discover your style of design. This is very, very important. Every designer has what makes them different from other designers. Uh, there are some designers who are good at using vector, all right, to create design solution. There are designers who know how to use drawings to tell story with design. And there are designers that use typography to create design solution. So you need to know what area you are coming in through because your lack of not knowing this is going to be very difficult for you to know the right way to create designs that capture the attention of the audience then the other thing you need to know as a designer is you need to know the right application because after knowing the type of design that you love to do there's the part of knowing the right application to get the job done you know i've heard so many designers say um i'm a coral draw user but there's this design i love to do and I don't know how to achieve it. The reason why you can't achieve it is because you are not using the right application. So the part of using the right application is very, very important. All right. Then the number three is intuition, which is the different uh, way of thinking. And for you to make uh, intuition do its work, you need to load yourself with different type of design. If you're a designer and you don't have a Pinterest account, where you can pin designs or you don't have a bns account where you can save design that looks successful to you and your uh, motherboard or you don't have an instagram account where you can save designs that look successful to you uh, being able to improve uh, your visual design skill is going to be difficult because you know we have so many designers doing great stuff out there that they their designs are what you're supposed to used to wake uh, or activate your style of design like to activate that creativity spirit inside of you so you need to learn the habit of saving designs that look successful to you now you don't just save designs all right now don't just be like those designers that okay when you see design that looks successful to you the next thing you do is to save and forget about it or uh you save it and wait for when you have a project that is similar to that uh, project that you save and then you go copy everything on the design and apply it to your project. No, don't do like those type of designer. Be like those designer that when you save a design that looks successful to you, what you why you're saving this design is to go back and check why the design looks successful to you. Because there's always a reason why every design project looks successful to us. And let me tell you one good thing about this. If you spend time solving the equation of why the design looks successful to you, this becomes a uh, second nature to you. And you start seeing yourself finding it easy to come up with good design really fast. And why this is also important is, you know, you can't do well in something you don't understand. You know, it's like so somebody like me now who is not really a fan of hockey. And you ask me to go and play um, hockey or uh, um, you ask me to go and play cricket. I don't really know much about cricket. Even if the referee cheats me, there's no way I'll know. So for you to have a good visual design skills, you need to load yourself with designs. You know, load your your mind, load your 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 memory with beautiful designs that look successful to you. All right. Now the other thing you also need to do where having visual design skills is knowing the problem you're asked to solve. Every design project has a job to do. And that job is to influence the readers, is, the, is to influence the viewers to look at the design. So there's always an objective that every design project must do. And that's why 
clients call us to help them solve their design goals. The, the problem you're asked to solve, the objective of the design is what mostly inspired the visual communication for the design. And see, for you to do this right, all right, there are process you must, you know, go through in order to get the right visual for the project you are asked to work on. In fact, every one of us here have that skill, that visual design skill. But what, the reason why we mostly think we don't have it is because we are used to, when we are asked to work on design projects, we quickly jumped to the uh, execution part of the project, which is very bad. I remember when I started graphic design, this is one area that I mostly have, you know, issue with where, you know, someone, a client will contact me and say, I need you to do a design for me. And the next thing I do is to just get to my computer and then start get uh, putting the uh, uh, stuff together. And what, the reason why we do this is because we think, okay, since I know how to use the application, then I should be able to do design. Or maybe because you've seen design from, you've seen a successful design uh, somewhere, and then you feel, okay, I know how to use the application to get this type of design done. Then the next thing we do is just get the brief from the client and boom, go to the ex execution part of the project. Uh, we make mistakes that way. So we need you need to stop this. Because every design project have a process, all right? They all have these distinct stages that reveals communication that draw the attention of the viewers. So if you don't go through this process, there's no way you will know the right visual to use for the project. There's no way you will know the right composition to get the job done. And most time, one of the reasons why this is a, a very important to we creative is because most of the, in fact, let me use myself as an example, you know, uh, most of the time I'm asked to work on design project. If the client give me the, the problem, all right, the uh, brief about the project, I mostly don't know what the composition is going to look like. So what I do most of the time is I ask them question. And during the course of asking them the question, the question, they mostly tell me the visual I'm supposed to use to achieve the project. So most time when clients say, okay, I want you to uh, get this job done for me. I, you know, we're trying to promote this item. We want people to know that this item can do this. They can do that. Um, our, uh, our target audience are the old people or the young people. You see them repeating what they want people to know about the product, product or the uh, the objective of the project. They keep repeating it. And that thing they keep repeating is what you are supposed to use to uh, draw the attention of the viewers. And that's why, you know, the stages of getting design project done is very important. And those stages are, number one, research. All right, there's the research that you need to do whenever you receive design brief from client. There's also the part of brainstorming, all right? There's the part of thinking of the the what the composition should look like, all right? There's also the part of that, which I'm going to, which is going to be the last part I'm going to, you know, um, talk about in this video. There's also the part of the information gathering, all right? Getting information about, you know, the project, why the project exists, um, why people should get involved, you know, we need to do that. And then there's also the conceptualization part, which is the part where you now need to draw what the project, what the composition should look like, all right? And why this conceptualization part is very important is, you know, it, this is where we help the clients project what they really want to sell to their viewers, all right? So, this part is, is also important. And then the last part is the execution part, which is where, you know, you now get to your computer, you now put what, you know, you have on the conceptualization part of the process uh, with your design application, and then you get, you know, the, the job done. And then the last part is the having fun. You know, so many designers think, okay, um, if I'm asked to work on design projects, there's this way that the project must look like. There's this picture, there's this, uh, style I'm supposed to come up with. I want to say this to every one of you that that's a big lie because there's no one right way to achieve a design project. There are a million ways to achieve uh, a design project. Learn the habit of having fun whenever you're asked to work on the de design project. Just play because it is through your playing that you can do the unexpected. And the other thing you need to learn to do is you need to be very open minded. Like, you need to give your the part of your brain that is always giving you concepts like ideas for design to do its thing. Anything that comes to your mind or that comes to your head, please write it down.
all right write it down and then see how that thing that comes to your head can be how you can merge it to the project nobody's born to be a designer what we are doing in this world is we take already made design we look at what made the design look successful to us and we add our own um you know style to it to make it look different from where we got the the concept from all right so i'm going to say this again before i end this um training that please uh for you to improve your visual design skill number one you need to know the type of design you like to do all right the number two is you need to now go learn the right application that will help you get the job done the number three is intuition intuition is very important you need to load yourself with designs that look successful all right i don't joke with pinterest i don't joke with um behance i don't joke with instagram i'm a type of designer that don't allow successful uh design to just pass me by all right when i see something that looks successful to me i screenshot it or i save it in my board or pin it in my um pinterest page all right so please in fact this intuition part is very very important very very important the number four is the design objective the design objective is very very important it's mostly what inspired the composition of the project all right your understanding of this is going to ease you the stress of doing uh looking for what is not lost or wasting time and money working on uh that design project and lastly have fun all right have fun just play all right just you know <laughs> just have fun all right and you're having fun is where creativity comes from like is that's where that's one of the keys to activate creativity when you play and just you know do what you think is right but please don't forget the objective of the of what you are asked to work on is very important and that's why you are asked to work on the project all right so i'm going to stop here and i hope you guys enjoyed this if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell because i'm going to be posting more tutorials like this for you to watch if there's anything you want to share with me kindly drop it in the comment section of this video Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.